is up, guys. I, for some reason, have the worst luck when it comes to camera equipment, I guess. I made a video for you guys a while ago. I just uploaded one, actually. A lot of the footage I'm uploading, except for Automotion, and the Florida vlog that I'm going to be uploading is kind of a while back. And I'm just now catching up and learning to get better with the software and my new computer and stuff and kind of like try and use it to its full potential. So some of these videos might be like super long or might not um, just be what I want them to be right away, but I'm still going to post them because it's, nonetheless it's um, it's still one of my videos and I'm not going to like reshoot it all to make it, you know, super perfect. It's still content, so I'm just going to put it out there. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. But point of this video is I recently had to get a new adapter from my GoPro Hero 5 to make uh, motor vlogs and GoPro was super chill about that. I bought it, I was within your warranty, send me a new one out. If you guys don't know, for the GoPro Hero 5, that mic adapter piece is $50. I was not paying $50 again for that. So they sent me another one out and I had fixed up my motor vlog helmet, I moved my camera actually and I was doing my Fender Elite for my motorcycle. Wow. For those of you who don't know, I have a 2007 Yamaha YZF600R or Yamaha Thundercat, whichever one you want to call it. And uh, on the back, there's no like Fender uh, Eliminator or Fender like Delete you can do. It has to be custom. You can't really like, buy one because the whole Fender inner Fender liner comes down and it's all connected on the end, which you'll see. There's no like pieces. So I've seen some people, some videos where they're gone and I'm like, oh, well, how did you do that? And I tried to look it up, it was really hard. So I found this one method on a forum and I used that. So it's pretty much custom, I actually cut it. And anyways, <laughs> getting back to the point, uh, the motor vlog, I was riding with my brother on our bikes and I was talking to you guys and telling you what I was gonna do. Come to find out that the mic kind of messed up again and nothing was recorded as far as audio goes. So, I am doing this as the intro to this, so today you guys will see how to do a fender delete on the bike, uh, a custom fender delete. This is a method that I found easy and the way I did it is by no means the professional way to do it for those of you uh, perfectionists out there. I apologize for the wind, there's a lot of wind when I watch this over again and I was like oh man, so some parts might be a little hard to hear but again, I'm not, I'm not going to take down the video because it's some wind for the most part you should be able to hear me. I do apologize for that though. Um, so, without delaying this video already at three minutes, this is the Fender Elite that I did a while ago and I hope you guys enjoy it. See you later. All right guys, before we get started, just a couple things. So, it looks like in order to drill, what I'm trying to do is, I'm gonna take this bracket off, right? Because this whole piece is connected underneath. I don't know if you can see that, but that whole piece under here is all connected. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off, redrill two holes right up here underneath the tail light, and then I'm gonna come over here, and this reflector I'm gonna take off, and it's got two rivets in there, if you can see them. Those two rivets, I'm gonna drill through to take them off, because they're rivets, otherwise it's gonna be a bitch, so the easiest thing is gonna be to drill through them. All right, I'm gonna drill both of them off, I'm gonna use those as reference points, draw a line from there, right around the turning signal, up here, underneath the mount, and underneath. I'm gonna use a Dremel to draw all that, and then I'll sand it later on, and this whole thing should be gone. Um, I think right now I'm using a 10, uh, size 10 for the, for the nut back there, and it might be a size smaller for the turning signals, just to loosen them up to get them out of the way while I drill. Um, but it should come out pretty clean. So, other than that, let's see how it goes. We'll get started here. I found you pick me up again. Got your habits, got them too. Just feel like maybe I could lose them with you. Sinking in, and I guess I kind of like that. For the first time, you really got my back. All right, so I'm going to use this size piece, which I hope just gauging with this is not too big. I'm going to use this to drill these holes up here where I want them. I'm just going to pretty much eyeball it and hope that I get the right spot. 
But first I'm going to see if I can take these screws out, which I don't think I can, so I'm going to use this kind of pinpoint where I need to screw. Oops. I want to do that. I think that's about dead center. What do you think, Dad? try and drill out these rivets here. Oh yeah, always wear safety glasses. Don't want to forget that. I think that it's going to be in the way, so I am going to go ahead and take out the turning signal. Alright guys, so if you are thinking about doing this the way I'm doing it, and you're like, oh my god, he's not showing me anything. There's literally one nut like I showed you earlier that's right here where this light is. You could just use a short 10 millimeter and you can unscrew it and that back plate's gonna come off which I'll show you where the nut did which is right here right it's gonna come off and it kind of you can just kind of move it out the way I mean it's gonna kind of still be there you know but it'll at least be able to move for you while you try and drill around it you know so it's really not that it's not something I'm going to get all in detail and show you because that's, this is a, a Alpha 5100, so it's not my GoPro, so it's not easy to fit in these crevices like this. And this is not the closest either, so, or the biggest space, should I say. So again, same thing, 10 millimeter, which is the same size as this plate. And the reason I didn't care about drilling two holes in here is because this bracket's going to cover it anyways. If you're a perfectionist, then good for you. Alright, so now the two turning signals are down. So, I'm going to drill on this side first so you guys can see it. Let's see if I can drill out these rivets. <laughs> Oh, maybe I just didn't try hard enough. Cause this guy looks like it wants to come out too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like coming undone. rivets with a passion with passion there you go
All right, so the last one's out. Um, guys, keep in mind that there's gonna be shards of metal everywhere, so I wouldn't recommend doing this in the driveway or at least cover your bike up too, because now I have like four pieces of metal on my bike. Um, those are out, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like up close. So, now that I drilled those, it's just gonna be a little ugly, but that's okay, because that's just like a guidance. I just wanna want that so it's easier to put the Dremel in, you know? Again, be careful with the shards of glass, like they will go through your skin. I already feel them sticking into mine. So, so at this point, we tried to use like a Dremel tool. It cut, but it's gonna take forever and it's gonna, the battery's gonna die. <sighs> so, what is this called? Navigator. Whatever the hell it's called. It's, it's like a little, it's a little jigsaw, yeah. So my brother's gonna use it, I'm gonna hold the light out of the way and we're gonna cut this. <laughs> I just got a bad feeling, like you guys got to be more responsible than me when you do this. Cover your tires, cover your brakes, because now I got little metal shards from the rivets in places I don't really want them, so I might have to like dust it out. Once I do cut this whole thing, I'll show you and be able to explain what you got to cut underneath. Uh, but he's going to start cutting, so. I gotta show the camera this. The reason, the reason it's still on, which is what I was saying I didn't wanna really explain too much. So the reason it's still on is because there's little like fins in the back, these things that are holding it still. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're like walls, it goes all the way up. So I can use the Dremel for those and I can break those. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna use that saw. I don't want to use the drum because that is. Here, let me see if I could. Dev, if you could stick the saw in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see it. You want me to cut that? It's gonna look ugly right now, but we're gonna get it fixed up. So that's how it's gonna look right now. Now these are the little fins I was telling you guys about right here. These are gonna, you have to find a way. I just had a little handsaw. Well, Clark had a little handsaw and we just cut it off. But as for this, we'll sand it down around, put the tail lights back and we'll uh, see how she looks. Look at all the sea. Be responsible, look at all this stuff. Ugh, I gotta clean my bike and sweep Clark's driveway. 
where he never lets me use his tools again. All right, all right, guys. So we finished. Uh, battery ended up where the camera ended up cutting off on me. So that's this is, um, I guess, the end product of how it looks. Kind of uh, turning signals like noise, changing it new ones because they definitely look kind of big, but it looks so much cleaner in my opinion compared to the old one. Uh, as far as this goes, I actually have a piece of, uh, Clark came up with a good idea. I'm gonna use a piece of like thin tubing. We sliced it right down the middle and then we're gonna get some glue and it's like almost like the edge seal of like a car door. And we're gonna put it on there and it's gonna look nice. But I used a leaf blower to get off all the fine stuff, clean the driveway and for the most part, that's how it looks. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you liked it, if you don't like it, I don't know. It took us about an hour. I think we were well, I'm sorry, it took us like 30 minutes. I think when we started with the little sawzall or jigsaw, it would, it would have taken us maybe 15 minutes tops. Um, I obviously didn't have a plan, nor do I ever. I just saw an idea, so I tried it. Um, you know, obviously this is why I'm doing this video. I'm not a perfectionist. I'm sure people were like, oh, you could have done this. You couldn't. That, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to give you an idea. I couldn't search it or find it anywhere on YouTube. I'm sure someone else is looking for it. So here it is, custom fender eliminator for, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a 97 to an 07 Yamaha YZF 600R. So it doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty damn good in my opinion. It looks a lot better and uh, cleaner than it was. So. Again, not a professional here or anything like that. And uh, <laughs> we did the best we could and we were kind of like dicking around, but that's how it is, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, I'll come out with that video of, with the computer. Um, I'm gonna work on a lot of the things. Like I said, editing, obviously. Uh, lighting, I really need help with my lighting. In one of my videos, like you couldn't even see me. But I'm not gonna delete it. I mean, I'm not gonna delete parts of even this video because I just don't care. Like embarrassment doesn't bother me. I'm more here to talk. So and we're gonna work through it, and I'll just keep getting better and better at it. But anyways, thank you for watching. As usual, any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll see you guys next time.